Hi again folks, in this video, the 2021 season, year of our life. Let's look at it, coming up. Okay, shout out goes to Chewy, Chewy Baca. He goes, can you do a video on the thoughts of the ending of the 2021 year? The year that was, you know? And um, I, I marked a few, a few points on here. Three points I put, right? Yeah, I put three points in here I'm going to touch on. So the first point is going to be the changes in the Sabres organization, uh, personnel, where we, and I'm talking players, where we're at now to where we were a year ago is it's so much, I I believe we have not been this healthy since really the Pagul, since the day that the Lucci Chip Miller, I believe this is the healthiest we've been right now where we're at right now. Right now, the whole fiasco with Jack was a joke. Sam, Risto, we just wasted years and a lot of money on nothing. No results, nothing happened. Nothing happened, guys. I don't care how much you like some of these players. Nothing happened, okay? And when nothing happens, they got to go. They got to go. Because there's something wrong in the dressing room. Talent doesn't mean squat if you don't have the camaraderie of a team. And I believe that that's what we've lacked till now, till now. You know, we have the right coach now. I, I know he's got some learning curves to do, I believe, as a fan. I mean, he's got to teach the kids how to be tougher and meaner. And I'm hoping that's in his plans, because if it's not, he will get fired eventually. He won't last. Granada will not last if we have a wuss team. The reason why we did this rebuild is because we had a wuss team. When Miller got hit, nobody came to his defense, right? That's how all this rebuild started, guys, was that minute. So if we think we can get away with having a West team a decade later, it's kind of a stupid strategy, isn't it? You know? So, yeah, we've got to get some mean in this lineup, and I believe that has to be part of the plan. A guy like Wilson would be perfect. He would be. A guy like that. So if we can get some sort of good crazy power forward that's insane at the same time, that would be great. And um, uh, we could use a few scrappers in the lineup. I don't care what the new fans, wave of fans think about that. It doesn't matter. No, you need to get, you need to have tough. If you're going to win a Stanley Cup, you have to be tough. We're not. We're just not tough. And we'll have to see how it unfolds. I mean, we were tough last game, but that's last game. You know what I mean? Doesn't mean nothing to me. I need to see it for three months straight. Then I'm going to believe this is for real, what's going on. So that's kind of where this guy stands with the team. But I'm thrilled with the personnel. I'm thrilled with the young talent we have. I know a lot of you like guys like Bryson and stuff, but I don't believe they're in our long-term fit because they're too small. They're just too small. Go look at Tampa Bay's defensive core. Go look at them. You don't see any five foot nine guys. You just don't. You don't. They don't have many small guys on their team, and this is and they hit, and this is why they're champions and why we're cellar dwellers. I'll tell you right now, you got to take size into consideration. I believe we're going to. I do believe that eventually, the Sabers are going to address that. And they're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, especially when guys like Power come in and, you know, some of the young studs come up. And I'm talking five eleven and up. They don't all have to be six foot five, six foot four. No, but. You know, gone are the days you can survive in the NHL with a five foot nine defenseman. I believe I, I do. And there's guys that, yeah, they're they're good. They are good hockey players. But how's a five foot nine guy gonna stop a six foot three guy coming in full steam on him? I don't care how good they skate up. How about when they're skating and they're going backwards and they have to pivot and push the guy forward? How are they gonna do it? They can't. They just can't. And. and that could be the difference of, of game seven and overtime, moving on to the next round, or packing it up and, and your whole year is gone. It really can be that much of a difference, I believe. So it's kind of where I stand with that, guys. I want to see the team get more aggressive and bigger. Uh, that's my hopes for the next year, because the video is about hopes of next year. I want to see get bigger and meaner. The two things I want to see happen with the Sabres, bigger and meaner. Not necessarily more talented, we're talented. We're good. It's a good team. It's a good, uh, good young core. And um, you can never have enough talent, I believe, of course. You know, I'd love to get Connor Bedard down the line. I would. Uh, Shane Wright, I like. I think he's okay. I don't want to base my year on getting Shane Wright. 
I, I, I wouldn't compare Shane Wright to Connor Bedard. It's just where I stand with it. No, I just wouldn't. I've seen both of them play, and um, maybe not in person, but I've seen out here. And um, I, I just, I think Connor Bedard's the next Connor McDavid. I just do. So we're going to have to see how that breaks down. But that's my hopes for next year. Bigger, meaner, bigger, meaner team. And um, developed, that's going to happen anyway. Even if we don't get bigger, meaner, we're going to get better anyway because of the talent we have. So I'm not worried there. So that's my thoughts anyways on the, on the Sabres. My hope, some, some of my hopes on the Sabres for uh, next year. The channel, I marked down three things. So yeah, that my hopes uh, for the channel next year is that it just keeps going. I'm not really placing numbers on it. I'm not placing any, any uh, big, big expectations. I'm just kind of going with it day, each day I wake up kind of thing, and that's it. Really, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm not changing. It doesn't matter how many subscribers I get, I'm not changing. Same rule applies to the next 10,000 people that come in here. If they come in and they shit disturb, they're out. They're just out because it's not fair to the people that are that are that don't do that, right? It's just not fair. I'm thinking of the community more than anything. When when I did the, the approach to this channel, is the community more than anything? So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like I had somebody ask me, uh, uh, saying it was delusional that I was talking about making the playoffs. I took that with a grain of salt. If I see a pattern of that, though, people like throwing comments like that, I don't tolerate it. I just don't. Rude is rude. Don't pretend it's not. Don't be an internet tough guy. I'll catch it in a heartbeat. Don't be a troll. I'll catch you. I was a troll. I catch it in a heartbeat. I don't know if any of you ever go to Hockey Buzz. I was one of the worst trolls in Hockey Buzz. One of the worst. I really was. So I can, I can catch trolls very quick. I can spot selfishness in consideration very quick because I'm sober. And I look for character defects. So I spot it very quick. So just saying... Choice is yours. You know, if you want to have your minute of glory and get rude and arrogant, enjoy it because I'm just deleting the comment and deleting you right after. So just saying, guys, keep it nice. Keep it friendly. That's all I ask. It's not asking much either, really, because if you want to be internet tough, guys, there's other channels to go to that they don't care if it's a zoo. I do here. It matters to me. So my channel, my rules. Sorry. Got to be like that. I got to be hard. Because if I'm not hard, I'm going to lose all the good people that have been here right from the beginning. That's not fair to them. Hopes in 2022. This is the third and final thing. Hopes in 2022. Uh, if I'm going to look at... Uh, the, uh, I, I, it depends. I mean, I still have hopes the Sabres can, can make a, a, a bubble run this year. And people that don't believe it just have the attitude that I can't which I believe I can. Anything I put my mind to in my life, I didn't get a black belt by walking into a Taekwondo dojang just by being a nice guy and saying, here, I'll give you money. No, I had to work my ass off for it. I had to get my head kicked in many times by Fort Dan black belts. Try spar sparring a Fort Dan black belt. It makes you very humble that black belt's pretty crap. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, okay? Because you're sparring a guy, you're looking at his foot, and then the next thing you see is a flash and you didn't see it coming. You just didn't see it coming. They faked you with one foot and the next one got you. So that's how that works. I, I'm the same way when it comes to my beliefs, my, my, the way I approach things, okay? I, I approach things the same way. I always believe I can and will. And I believe the same thing with the Sabres. I have to. It's part of my makeup, it's who I am. So I believe that the Sabres can and will eventually, it could be this year, make a bubble run. I'd be thrilled with that. Really, guys? If they lasted to the 67, 68, 70 game mark and then they started to bow out a bit, we could all live with that and be proud of them and say, you know what, this was a year of improvement, a year of learn, and a year of hope for next year. That's all we're looking for as fans, I believe. Of course, we want the ultimate prize, but that's going to have to wait. Next year, my hopes for next year, 92-point season. For, um, I'll just throw it right out there, the number. 92 points, 94. 92, 95, that area, okay? So that's what I'm hoping for next year that the Sabres, no, you know what, change. 92 to 96, I like even numbers. 92 to 96 and um, perhaps a playoff Burt next year. We'll see. It's too soon to tell still. It really is. But 
everything can go wrong and starting with COVID, right? So we, I, I just don't know. But I do believe 92 to 96 points next year is realistic. If we continue to progress the way we're progressing as an organization, as a whole, the whole thing, GM, coach, assistant coaches, scouting staff, the meetings these guys have, drafting properly in the second round, especially things like that. If we can continue doing those things, the organization is going to get deeper and deeper as we're getting better and better. All of a sudden, we're a good team with a deep farm. Let's not forget that. It's not we bring up the farm and we have nobody after that and this is our one chance. No, no, no. We're going to have a team that's good with a deep farm is the goal for sure. It has to be. Any GM worth two cents is going to got to be the goal. You got to have the, the depth behind the good in the front or else forget it. It's just a smoke and mirrors what you're putting up because all of it. And that's what I believe. I believe what I, I know I'm right. That's what Vegas are. It's smoke and mirrors. This team very soon is going to take a nosedive. You mark my words. They'll take a nosedive. They have no depth in their system. Go check. Why do you think they didn't want to give us Krebs? They have no depth. They have nothing. They really don't. They're all in now. Typical gambling. <laughs> Vegas. It's, it's where they're at now. And this is why Vegas has to win a cup either this year, next year latest, or forget it. Nosedive. They're all, too many guys that are old now on that team. They're all in this year, that team. So I don't want to see that happen to us. That's the, why I'm comparing. I don't want to see the Sabres wind up that way. I want to see the Sabres build to getting good and keep building down there at the same time. And that way you have an even flow of water going around all the time. All the time it's flowing nicely. That's kind of my vision anyway, guys, you know? Anyway, Chewy, I hope that answers a few questions. It's just kind of where this guy stands and um, and if there's anything I left out, ah, I'm going to make more videos. <laughs> there you go. See you in the next one, folks.